what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight into what you guys did yesterday. So yesterday for your homework, I asked you to uh, fill out the Google form with um, everything that you're going to be doing for your project. I wanted as much detail as possible. I want to know who's going to be doing what. I want to know what types of research you're going to be looking into as well. Uh, we don't have everyone yet. So Monkey, you're the only person from that team. Uh, Annie, Ming Chiu, Lucy, Eraser, Ava, Monkey, tell me uh, about what you guys discussed in your team. We discussed about um, what we will do, what about how we intend to do this project, um, what the each what will each person do, and uh, what do we intend, what do what will we research? Okay, so. Uh, asked you to explain what you're going to do i would sort out the trash and weigh them by kilograms that's it that's all you're going to do no um we will research about different things like what is solid waste why is it very harmful to the environment and how how people in vietnam are trying to like get rid of it and what are some ways to get rid of it that are actually good for the environment Okay. And from this information, we will make, um, I completed this and I sent you uh, mine. Okay, so you see this one, monkey. This is really good. As your team, that's really good. But all of you should be working on this, okay? Okay. This explains in lots of detail what everyone's going to do. It gives me a really good idea about what you guys spoke about. Did you, did you the three of you meet yesterday? Did you have a, did you have a talk on Zoom, Bill? Yeah, we did last last yesterday, but like maybe, but well, like we, in a, like in the uh, evening, like yeah, in the fun. evening. Fine. Okay, but this is where what I want to see. This tells me that you sat down, you spoke about it, and you've actually written down all of the things which you're going to be doing as well. Bill, pencil. This is the same thing I want to see from you guys. Like I see this. There's lots of people joining this class who I don't know who they are. These types of answers <clears throat> are too short, way too short. Not good enough, okay. Ocean the dome to house in my neighborhood. What are you going to research about the ocean? It does not have anything to make with solid waste. Something. No. Exactly. I want to know with specifics what you're going to be researching. Not putting in enough information, I don't know if you're on the right track or if you're doing the right thing. Okay? So all of you, whenever you're going to do research like this, make sure are specific about what it is you're going to be doing okay okay uh laura anna annie and sky okay uh we research ways to dispose of waste without making pollution we we'll finding information and do the slides okay this i don't think anyone else is here from your team okay uh Jenny, who will do what in the in the presentation who's going to be who's, who's going to be doing which part of the project mm -hmm. Yeah, what, what are you going to do? Uh, we um, will do research and then we put it in the suit. Okay, so what research are you going to do? What, what part of the project is going to, are, are you going to do? Okay. Laura, what are you going to do in the project? We research. You research. Okay, so you're just going to do research, nothing else. No, no. Well, we can make summaries of the long information we found. No, but I'm asking what you are going to do, not what we. Oh, what, me? Yeah. I'll just research, do nothing but research, and just do summaries of the research I have done. Okay. Not what I'm looking for at all. I asked you what each member is going to do, or what each task, or who will be doing each task in the project. You guys want to be setting up tasks, for example, you're going to say well hold on you're going to do research i don't want you to just do research on everything research on one particular part okay how does vietnam dispose of waste so what i want you to do then is make slides about you your research on how vietnam gets rid of waste somebody else will, will tackle what is household waste somebody else somebody else will do what is pollution 
this is the types of things that I want you to go into detail about. I want you to be specific about who is doing each role. Uh, everyone will research and Annie will make the presentation. No, I want everyone to do one part of the presentation. So again, we need to do this again. Uh, okay, Eva, P, Lily. So, Lily, so the three of you. This looks really good. Uh, okay, you can hear Connor too out in the background. Uh, we'll make I'll uh, make a <clears throat> make a plan for the presentation. Research the information such as the amount of trash. In this is really good. Okay, I really really like this answer. This answer tells me a lot of information. It shows me that you've sat down, you've spoke about it, you've actually thought about all the different parts of the project as well, which is really good. What I would like to see here, though, right, he is going to find pictures. You tell me for the for the entirety of this project, all P is going to do is just. Oh, I'm going to find more information about like fun facts about it too. Okay, so do you not think it would be better for you to just take one part rather than find information about everything, and for you to take one part of the project? For example, right? I'll show you all very quickly. So what are you going to do in your group? It's like okay, so we are going to research about. Waste disposal, how waste can be harmful to the environment, and what is pollution. So, Ryan will look after research about waste disposal, disposal, whatever that is. New word next. Ryan, Ryan one, research about how waste can be harmful. Ryan, two, what is pollution? So that is what I want to see. That is each person with a specific task in your groups, and that is what they're going to be doing, okay? Mr. Ryan. Yes, Kent. Um, um, uh, when you choose for uh, my team, I have to go for helping my younger brother so I cannot uh, know what team am I, so I only write me. Kent, you're with B, Dino, and James. Huh? You're in a team with B, Dino, and James. Me? You, B, Dino, James. Okay. Uh, uh, me, James, boom, me, everyone would do together. I'm researching my house and my, some neighbors' houses. Again, okay, what animal? Needs to, need more information here. Okay. So, this one. And that'll be, you did another one. Like, again, uh, inviting groups information to organize which information both sides. So you see this, yeah, that's what you need to do, but you need to say who is doing it. So again, I would consider this incomplete because it's not been specific enough about who is doing what. Okay, for that group, you need to sit down and do this again. Okay. Uh, midday. midday, pizza and eraser. What's your favorite animal? It's a, a razor. Where are you? Tell me about your uh, your project. Who's gonna do what? Uh, uh, what we are going to do is uh, uh, we will all research about ways to prevent to, to prevent solid waste and uh, about solid waste, and then we will decide which way is the best. Afterwards, we will research about that best way and. Conclude the information. Finally, we will do a presentation or a poster. Okay, and who's going to do? Who's going to do which tasks? In the, uh, who's going to do tasks? Who's going to do what? You can't just do. You can't all just do everything. Um, I will do the designing of the poster. Okay, but where's the information for the poster going to come from? So that means Mid A and Eraser are going to do all of the work for the information. You're going to do nothing. No, I when I designed the poster, finish, I will search uh, and help them. Okay, but that's not what I'm saying. Look at what 
throughout down here. This is the way I want you to go about this. <clears throat> you will all do the PowerPoint together. We'll all do the poster together. So you all need to have individual tasks to make a poster. Do you understand? You all choose one section of the project and you work on that together. You all need to measure the weight of the garbage. You all need to measure the weight of the trash. But you all need to have individual tasks for the overall mini pizza eraser. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. What you need to do is choose sections about who is going to do what, and then explain it again. So that's what I want you all to do. Let me do this again. Uh, yeah, okay, this is fine. But again, girls, I need to be more specific there. Uh, Minerva Lusa and Emily. Okay, uh, this is good, I like this, it gives good explanation. Okay, Emily, Minerva, Lucy. So tell me, what did you guys talk about? Uh, what, um, we uh, talked about uh, what each uh, uh, member will research. And then when I research about the um, find a solution and then share with the whole group, then when we find a solution, all of us is going to um, find like a different uh, find a different solution, and then we're going to share with each other and choose the best one, and then Minerva is going to like uh, prepare the template for the PowerPoint and then we're going to uh, work on it after we've gathered all the information. Okay, yeah, no, that sounds really good. Is this information, this, what, what are you going to research here at Hanoi and Vietnam? I don't think just researching Hanoi and Vietnam is, is what you need to be doing. You need to be researching how does Hanoi remove waste? How does Hanoi dispose of waste, right? Okay. Uh, uh, Rosie, Minnie, and Elsa. That's the last one. Uh, oh. That's the Elsa. incorrect one. Okay, it's fine. Ming Cho, don't worry. I know there's another one. You didn't just have to shout it out. You can raise your hand. What? Oh, Ming Cho, uh, Minnie, tell me who's going to do what. First, we will have uh, our questions like, uh, oh, Ming Cho will research. Uh, Trash in Hanoi, and then we will share our answers and then discuss. Next, we will type our ideas on the PowerPoint and uh, research about solid waste in other areas. Okay. Um, my advice to you guys is to think about this uh, research trash in Hanoi, Halong Bay, and Da Nang. I like the idea of researching across the country, but I would be, like, I would like you to choose like specific topics like this, okay? Uh, just about waste disposal in general, about how waste can be harmful, what is pollution, these, these types of things, okay? These are these are the topics that I would prefer you to be looking at rather than just um, as a whole. I think that like research in Hanoi, the Halong Bay, Da Nang, that can be done by just one person. I don't think three people need to do that. Okay? So, in your situation, girls, I would, I would try to be a bit more specific about the questions that you're going to ask to solve in this project. Okay, so it's okay for now. Um, the next time I ask you to do this, to, to plan it out, that's what I want you to do. Okay, right. Um, some of that's okay. Some of that it could be a little bit better. So. What I want to do now is I um, want to take some time to show you how to research properly. Now, you all have my email address anyway. I know some of you sent me emails yesterday. Um, sorry to those who I didn't get back. What I want to be sure is that when you're going to research something, you're going to research something in the right way. So my question to anyone now is what's something that you're going to research with your project? Who can give me a question that you're going to research? Just one question. What are some ways that to get rid of trash that are good for the environment and they don't cause pollution or any like um, unwanted harm? Oh, 
good question. So let's take that. So what is some solid weight? So simple question. Let's type that into Google. What are some solid waste that are good for the environment? What are trends in waste their effects on human health and solid waste? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Three examples of solid waste. What can solid waste be used for? Think about your question. What is solid waste that is good for the environment? So let's try this. What can solid waste be used for? Here's the answer to your question. If you just click on the first one, are you getting an answer? No. What are three types of solid waste? Could you get an answer there? Maybe you could. I don't think it's giving you a good answer. How can solid waste affect the environment? So I would have a look here. And I would also have a look here as well. Environmental impacts of improper solid waste. This is going to give you a lot of rules. Now, this is just about Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. I've never heard of them before. It's somewhere in America. Uh, Minnesota rules, official use of solid waste. There is a whole document here about this. Again, you get lots of information. Solid waste must be stored uh, in anticipation of future markets, blah, blah, blah. Condition standing beneficial use determinations. I've never heard that before as well. So again, you can have a look here. And you're getting lots and lots of information. What you need to be sure is that when you are going through information like this, aha, there's the information that you want. Recycle materials. Okay, well, that's solid waste that is beneficial. Composts, they're beneficial. So again, if you're gonna start saying, okay, well, hold on. I can see that composts are being defined as beneficial types of waste. I can't just put that down. I need to be able to explain and go into detail. So composts, solid waste, type it in. Another method for treating solid waste is composting. This is a biological process in which organic portion of refuse, so food waste, is allowed to decompose under carefully controlled conditions. So again, not just going, oh, compost is a really good way to get rid of solid waste. You're taking it a step further. You're actually saying, well, hold on. This is the way it's beneficial. Here's uh, environment intake. Like here again, there's a lot of information on the impact of solid waste. It could be quite helpful when you are going through your so again, it's not just researching something and going, okay, these things are bad, these things are good. It's taking small bits of information, right? Here we go. Solid waste issue, sources, composition, disposal, recycling. Then taking it that little step further and going, hold on. Right. I've asked the question. I've got an answer to the question. Why is this the answer? It's not about what the answer is. It's why that is the answer. And that's what you need to do when you're researching. It's by taking the next steps. Don't just take the first article that you see, take some information from the article, and then take the step further. Who else can give me another question that they would like to look at in their project? What's another question that you guys will try to go? Ava, uh, Lucy. Um, how can we uh, dispose solid waste without causing pollution? There we go. Great question. How can we dispose of solid waste? All right. Waste disposal waste, disposal of solid waste or uh, waste without harming the environment. That sounds really good. I'm going to have a look at that. How can solid waste be disposed? There we go. There's a lot about waste management. How can we prevent solid waste pollution? Lots and lots and lots of information there. Ways to reduce reduce waste. Now, careful of that one. That's not really answering the question because it's not really giving you uh, an answer to cause it without solution. It's just ways to reduce it. So let's have a look here. Ways to dispose waste without harming the environment. Uh, recycling, composting, reusing, anaerobic digestion, Again, lots of information here. If I see something like anaerobic digestion, I go, hold on, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna go waste disposal. Find out what this is. So this is market organisms break down biodegraded material in the absence of oxygen. There we go. 
is something else that you can research and have a look into. Here again, you're getting lots and lots and lots of different bits of information about waste, the history of waste, and the, in the industrialization of waste, the transport segregation, which is what we've been looking at as well. We're looking at the classification of wastes. There we go. Um, so again, there's lots of information, disposal metals, landfill, incineration, recycling, biological reprocessing, energy recovery. Here's a way to reuse. Look at the amount of information you're getting here, right? This is, again, if you're gonna go looking here and trying to take a lot of information from here, I would advise you to have a look at, okay, if I'm gonna talk about paralysis, I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna search out paralysis, Waste disposal. Take the next step. Take a step. Uh, take the next step to make sure that you're researching things in a greater detail. Don't just um, take the first answer you get. Take the next answer and the third answer. Get as much information as you possibly can to ensure that the question that you're asking is answered in the best way possible. Does everybody understand the way I went about this? How how I went about researching? I typed in a question. I tried to find an article that best suited. But then I took more information from the article to make sure I fully understand what was being said. Does everyone understand this concept about what I've done? If you understand me, please raise your hands. Uh, the rest of this stuff I'm going to go through pretty quickly because we've gone, we've actually done a lot of this in class recently. So I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on it because you guys pretty much understand it. But what I do want to be sure is that if I ask any question, in this online classroom, for example, what is pollution? All of you will go onto Google and type in the question that I am asking. Do you understand me? There should not be a situation of people that do not know the answer because they can research whilst we're in the online classroom to find the answer. And that's what I expect you all to do from now on. Okay. We need to. We need to. Research this one in the Google. Oh, yeah. If I ask you a question, Kent, I want you to look up the answer. Very simple. Oh, you can tell me, what's pollution? I just start picking people. Uh, Ming Cho, what's pollution? Oh, Ming Cho, camera on. P, camera on. Elsa, camera on. Ming Cho, what is pollution? Uh, pollution is a problem. It's a trash problem. That's a type of pollution. Oh, okay. It's a problem. Pollution is the introduction of contaminants into the na natural environment. Yeah, well, that's a great answer. Very close to the one I got. So, pollution is defined as the addition of harmful materials into the environment. These materials are called pollutants. So, you can say, okay, if I ask you, what is a pollutant? Who can find, who can tell me what is a pollutant? Something that causes pollution. Again, this should, this should not be hard. You go to the internet. What is a pollutant? Examples. And then you're going to get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of examples. So let's try that again. You can tell me what's a pollutant. Minerva. Yeah, that's fine. That's perfect. Thank you. Elsa, tell me another one. What's another pollutant? Uh, volcanic ash. Volcanic ash. Yes, definitely. Uh, Kent, what's another What is a pollutant? Yeah, tell me. Give me an example of something that causes pollution. Um, pollutant. This and uh, the pollution, pollution is some things that can cause pollution. Yeah, exactly. Can be like what? Substance, energies of nature, of the kind of pollution. Yes, yes. Eva. Uh, a, 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 
mutant is a nitrogen dioxide. Okay, yeah, fine. No, okay, so again, what you want to be doing is you want to be looking here. You want to be looking at things that are causing pollutants. So smoke, fumes from cars. Check here. You can see construction, wastewater, agriculture. They can all cause different types of pollution, right? You get these answers by looking them up and researching them. All of you should be searching these when I ask you a question online. Now, you can have natural forms of pollution and you can have man-made forms of pollution. In this case, right, you have a volcanic eruption. The ash from a volcano will cause pollution. It will go into the air. It's the introduction of sulfur and carbon into the air, which was not in the air before. And as a result, this can cause Question. Yes, Lily, do you have a question? Do you have a question? No. Okay, cool. Right, be careful when you raise your hands, please, because I assume you have a question. So, natural forms of pollution could be things like uh, like dust or sand or uh, anything that can get into the air, which is not in the air on its own. You can have man-made pollution. This here is actually part of a floating crash island in the Pacific Ocean. It's huge. It's about the size of Texas. Texas is about the size of France. So there's a whole country floating and of plastic floating around the Pacific. It's just plastic pollution. That exists because it's a man-made thing, a man-made product. So we have natural forms which happen like in that in nature. Nothing we can do about them. Volcanoes and dust and sand, they happen all the time. We can have man-made pollution as well. That brings me on to household waste. Okay, so what types of waste do you create in your own home? What are some types of waste? Uh, who have I not heard from today? Uh, oh, what's some waste that you make at home? What's some waste that you create at home? Uh, trash. What trash do you make at home? What types of trash? Plastics. Plastics, cool. Hey, tell me another one. Uh, um, peelings. Okay, yeah, food, organic waste, great. Hey, tell me another type of... Um, banana peels. Okay, food waste, yes, we have that already. Annie, another type of waste, please. Uh, uh, sewage, okay, what, what kind of sewage? Uh, I said solid. Okay, solid, what type of solid waste? Uh, food. Food waste, okay, yes, you said that. P, e, tell me another one. Mm, water. Water, okay, uh, okay. Let's, let's keep talking about solid waste. Uh, eraser, what other solid waste do you make at home? No carns, okay. So, there's quite a lot, right? I'm going to show you all now. So, you can have organic waste. So, you can have food waste, bananas, anything left over, any leftover foods that would... Uh, go in, they would get categorized as organic waste. You can have paper waste, which is newspapers and books or uh, packaging. They can all go into paper. Plastics, such as plastic bottles, they all go into that class. Six and um, quite explanatory. Metal, you can have cans, you can have uh, uh, forks, knives, anything you're throwing away, anything that's metal. You can have e waste. E waste is electronics, such as phones or batteries could go under like electronic waste. They can have mixed waste as well, which can be uh, a mix of everything. So there's seven very simple different types of waste that occur. From those seven pictures, who makes these wet this types of waste at home? I'm sure you all do, right? Yeah. They're pretty normal waste. There's nothing too strange or too different there. So what I want you to think about is it's going forward as well is that you're making all these different types of waste that when you are doing this project and you're going to weigh and classify the different types of waste, this is what I want you to think about, right? I want you to think about how much paper, how much plastic, how much food waste are you making on a day-to-day -day basis? And I want you to be able to measure each one of these throughout the course of this project as well, okay? So again, you take any regular waste, you can see this pretty much in your waste, and I'm sure you do. You can see paper, plastic, you can see mixed, you can see metal, 
you can see food waste there as well. So again, I want you all to be measuring this. This is what you're gonna to need to do for your project is to measure the amount of each type of waste that your house is creating and your neighbor's house is creating as well. Any questions? About okay, no, we don't have time to do this. Now, the reason I spoke about pollution and the reason I then spoke about solid waste is I want, one of the main questions that you're gonna answer in this project is how does solid waste contribute to pollution? So think about the pollution or think about the waste in your own homes. How do you think the waste in your own homes causes pollution? Honey, how do you think the waste in your um like people don't know what we should keep and uh, what we can do to uh, reduce the um, negative impact of the throw um, away pollution? Okay, so, okay, from your own home, right, from your house, what type of pollution do you think you cause from your house? Uh, leftover food. Oh, okay, what, what do you mean? Uh, like, uh, when we, um, didn't, uh, finish the whole food and then, uh, we, um, and then we, uh, um, put it in the fridge and then we uh in the next day we uh, take it out and eat it back but we didn't finish it and then we have throw it in the trash bin okay yeah fair enough uh Ginny, what do you think what, how does your house cause pollution the waste that you get rid of what, what pollution do you think the reason i asked that question is that if you remove waste from your own home right you can put it into a landfill or it can go into an incinerator. Air pollution from an incinerator is definitely something that your house causes. I don't know who's drawing on my screen, but I suggest you stop immediately. Um, or a landfill. A landfill can create ground waste. Ground waste could actually cause the water to get polluted as well because the pollution from the waste will run down through the ground and into the water. The main one I want you to think about is plastic pollution. Plastics, they are very, very harmful to the environment. And the amount of plastics that get used and produced by houses are some of the largest parts, okay? So in your house, what are some plastic things that you use? What, like, what do you use plastic for, Mide? Uh Water bottles. Water bottles, yes, very much so. Make Joe. Boxes to store food. Boxes to store food, yeah, containers, good job. Uh, monkey. Um, toys. Toys, yeah, definitely. Mini. Um, bottles. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so the point is that plastics are super dangerous for the environment. Why are why are plastics dangerous to the environment? Sky, why why are plastics dangerous to, for the environment? Sorry, Sky. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Sky, I can't, I can't hear you, unfortunately. James. No, James doesn't have anything. Pizza, why are plastics uh, dangerous for the environment? Um, they damage the environment because uh, they litter everywhere, then uh, animals eat it, then humans eat it too. Okay, but why, but, well, why is eating it bad? Because... Uh, Eating it will make a, um, the, a feeling that you are full and uh, you can't eat anymore. And uh, you will, uh, the animal that eat it will die. No. Bill. Why are plastics harmful for the environment? Bill, you're paying attention. Bill, why are plastics dangerous for the environment? Animals will eat it and they'll die. Yeah, okay. Like, you're all missing the point here. Right. Plastic does not degrade. It does not disintegrate. It does not uh, go away, right? Now, uh, what I want you to do for your homework is I'm going to send you a, a reading and writing comprehension about plastic pollution, okay? So I want you to get that done and get it finished. Also, the teams that uh, I was quite unhappy with their responses, so let me check them again. So... Uh, 
Uh, Laura, Annie, Ginny, and Sky, I would like you to do this Google Sheet again. I'm not happy with your answers. Uh, Rosie, oh, no, sorry. Uh, study for, that's a different one. Uh, mid a pizza and a razor please do again uh james do and b please do again as well remember i want you to add detail to this i want you to make sure the details are done as best as you, as best as you can do you understand so those teams which i've just mentioned i want you to do it again and i'll also send you a, a reading and writing comprehension about plastic pollution as well so i want you to get that done before tomorrow Okay, does anybody have any questions about today? No. No. All right. No. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.